There's news in the fight against a specific form of breast cancer. A vaccine is being tested right now to prevent triple negative breast cancer. And the makers just released some promising results. Here's health and wellness reporter Lauren Petty. Jenny Davis is the first woman to take a potential vaccine aimed at preventing triple negative breast cancer. And preliminary data looks promising. It showed that I had some type of immune response. So I am, I consider it a success for all of us. Davis has already beat breast cancer once. She's being treated at the Cleveland Clinic, where phase one of this clinical trial is underway. I didn't hesitate because with triple negative, I can't take tamoxifen. I can't take, there's nothing. There's nothing that kind of puts your mind at ease that it won't recur. The vaccine targets a specific protein created after a woman gives birth. There's a lactation protein. It's called alpha lactalbumin. Once a woman stops lactating, the protein completely disappears. But it was discovered that protein reappeared in women with triple negative breast cancer. So the vaccine enabled the immune system to target that protein. Then when those cancer cells arise, that the immune system would destroy those cells. Jenny and 14 other women have received the vaccine so far. Data released last week showed all had an immune response to varying degrees. We don't know how strong an immune response is necessary to prevent cancer. But no matter what, the vaccine now has taught our body to identify those cells and, you know, destroy them before they become a tumor. A mom of three, Jenny was eligible because she's beyond her breastfeeding years. We would immunize women after the age of 40 or at whatever age they've decided to no longer have children. Starting next year, phase two of the clinical trial could include Chicago. We anticipate that there will be several sites uh, at most of the major cities and Chicago is certainly on the list. Can you imagine if there's no more triple negative breast cancer? Yeah, it would just be amazing. Lauren Petty, NBC5 News. Our thanks to Lauren.